guys, what is up? Welcome back to Hollywood Dazzle. Today we are talking about the Iron Man of Hollywood and coming from an acting family, Robert Downey Jr. He has had a whole life of struggle, from drugs to rehabilitation. His addictions were on a serious note, but he has become a superhero for overcoming all of it for his real and real life. So let's sum it all up. But before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe now and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. Number one, a unique hobby. While traveling around with his father, Downey spent a year in the 1970s taking ballet classes in London. Imagining Robert in a pink ballet dress. Isn't that quite a good sight? Number two, crazy fan following. He was recognized running from rehab in hospital pants and a Hawaiian shirt and had wandered into a marina's shop. He then asked the fan, who was the store clerk, to book him a cab to get him far away. Crazy. I want to say there's less pressure. Number three, a career savior. Robert wanted to get back to the films after his trouble with the law. The directors thought it was too risky. But his saviour, Mel Gibson, who paid for Downey's insurance, and that's when his career went to a peak. He mentions Mel Gibson as his friend. Number four, bad influence. His drug influence wasn't from his friends, it was his dad. Downey has admitted that his addictions were from an early age. His father encouraged Downey to try. Awful, destructive. Number five, his habits. David Fincher, a well-known director, cast Robert in The Zodiac, a crime-based film. While shooting, due to the very few breaks, long hours of filming and needing to use the washroom, Robert began peeing in jars and leaving them around as he protested against Fincher's behaviour. He's surely a mega star in himself. Number six, foodie with a good physique. Just like the others, his weakness is food. I would have a Domino's pizza with carbonara pasta inside every slice, says Downey. You don't want to be the tubby guy. Number seven, warrior beneath. His drug addiction nearly destroying his career, he began practicing martial arts known as wing chain. Due to this, he claims that he could get sober. A warrior never gives up. Number eight, connection to Charlie Chaplin. Does this shock you? Well, he might not have a blood connection, but Robert bought the former house of Charlie Chaplin just a few years before he landed the role of Chaplin in a silent film. Do not forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe.